Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. And no Justin Bieber. Oh my god. Thank Chuck. What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the SC on TV podcast for Supernatural, season 11, episode 4, Baby. I'm your host, Mike, and joining me are Dom. Hi. And Omikins. Hey. Hey. And Kim. Ha. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Another good episode of Supernatural. I'm loving it. So far, the season has been on point for me. I, I think the the big thing that was enjoyable about this particular episode was, though it was a filler-ish episode, it still advanced the plot tremendously. It did. I think most of the episode advanced the plot, which is rare for a filler episode. Mm-hmm. But... I mean, the only real fillery filler part of it was the fact that it was recorded. It's an episode from the car's point of view. No, it wasn't even that. It was just the fact that they're dealing with a creature that has nothing to do with the yeah, darkness. Yeah, it was the monster uh, of the week thing. Yeah, yeah it's, okay, that's exactly what it was. But it was tied. Into... It was, yeah, the monsters were doing their thing because of the darkness. Right. Mm-hmm. So the whole episode, the camera never, the camera view never leaves the car. Never leaves baby until the closing shot. I mm-hmm. loved it. Because yeah. I mean, think about it. The car is like the only character that's been with us in the show since the beginning. Kind of. Sam, no. I mean, the only when other character was except in Sam hell, and Dean. I mean, they've always like traded in and out. The car, the car has been there from the very get go. No, 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 no. Car, I mean, from the car episode. Was- Episode completely one. destroyed at some oh, point. Oh, this is true. Yes, no, it but was. I mean, it's the only character so. that's been since episode that premiered in episode one, aside from Sam and Dean, that is still with us today. No, it's not because the car was completely destroyed. A couple pieces of the car carried over into the new one, so it, it's not the the same when in the first episode. when their dad died. The car was completely destroyed. I know it's not the, the same car. I'm saying the character of Baby of the Impala. Is the same okay. from geez, I know it's, it's not the same it's, fucking. It's played car. by a new actor. <sighs> <laughs> they they can't pull the switch. This is worse than switching the Darren Stevens on us. Like you can't just switch the Impalas and expect us not to know. We know. I'm like the odd person out in this. I was bored. Really? really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not enjoy this episode as much as you guys did. I just Okay, okay. You can't have missed and like got bored at one part and it was the Netflix and and, and cast part. No, it had its parts. I can't say the entire thing. Okay. I was like there was it did have its its redeeming okay. qualities. I don't like know the little arm. part with 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 his don't... dad in the car and different things, whatever. But oh, I was just not and I you guys said that it was very filler. There was the only part that had anything to do with, I think, the push that really pushed anything was that they said that the reason they were doing it was for, because of darkness. That was it. Right. So they're everything showing was, they're showing yeah. you another perspective on how the darkness is affecting everything, and it's mm-hmm. showing you that the the creatures, even the supernatural creatures out there, are are panicking in a frenzy because they don't know what to do. So yeah, so dealing with that is still advancing a huge section of the story. We got the message through Sam as well. I mean, that was something that tied back to a previous episode. So, I mean, that's not filler. You mean the dream where he talked to uh Yeah, talked where he to talks Lucifer? to Lucifer? Which is That wasn't oh. Lucifer. That was totally Lucifer. So you're in I mean, I, w- I was saying that it was Lucifer when we were watching it, but like looking I back, Lucifer would have been more of a dick. No, he but the way he wouldn't have he's... said things like like Sam said, his dad said everything I want, and Dean's like, that's not what dad would do. And that's exactly what Lucifer wouldn't do either. Lucifer would totally egg him on. Unless, I mean, eh, it's just the way he said, like, I could never fool you, Sam. Like, and, like that smirk he had or whatever, but I, I wishful thinking. But it, probably it is was. wishful thinking. I don't, I, 
I, Who I, I else? Did that, I wanted to play that off too. I wanted to be like, oh, 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 are we getting our first glimpse of, of Lucifer? That's what I was thinking too. What other character could it have been giving him a message? Because it was obviously someone talking to him through a dream. Who has done that before aside from Lucifer? And I think Uriel did it to Dean at one point. It's definitely not Chuck. No, it's an angel thing to do because angels in this series have communicated through dreams well, to sleeping characters before. It is possible that it that it is. It, well, I don't know, but we had godly characters kind of do stuff like that. It's it really could be any anyone. I mean, it's not like any of them don't have the power to do do that if they truly wanted to. Right, and you know, God helps those who helps themselves. Of course, Lucifer would say that in a mocking way. He wasn't really mocking. He, he mocking. said it. it was... He said it clear as day, oh, like no. it was a fact. Yes, it was but he giving knows hits. that it, he knows it's a fact, but he also knows that it's not helpful whatsoever in this situation. Maybe it is. Mm. They just haven't seen. They haven't thought it through enough. It was. It's a riddle, kind of. I, it's it really is kind of a riddle. Yeah. Yeah. They just keep dropping hints at Lucifer. He's. We know he's coming back. Oh, yeah. He's 100% coming back. That's been confirmed already. Mm -hmm. Mark Pellegrino has been uh, already announced as returning. So, yeah. So. And but I, I just I just really quick, I want to touch on the fact that the the opening of the episode, the the story so far opened with the manufacturing of the car. Like, they gave us the history. Yeah, that was cool. Like, I was like... As soon as I watched, I go, "What the hell are they doing?" And then I go, "Oh yeah, this episode's from the car's perspective." And I was just like, <laughs> "I like it." You guys are clever. It's like they're replaying. What was that? I think that was like the finale of season five. Chuck was narrating or something. I, that was an episode that Chuck narrated back in season five about the car. Like, you know, this is a very special car. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I, I faintly remember that now. So, uh, but yeah. The, whole thing is like here's the w life history of this fucking vehicle i mean yeah i don't know some of the scenes where it was just you're sitting in the you're watching it from the car i was kind of like, mm -hmm. but you rarely like it showed there usually when it's like oh we got a case where is it oh it's in oregon like in this case it's like all right bitchin and it's like you'll see them have a short conversation in the car on the way there and then they're in oregon this showed pretty much you know most of their trip there there was m more to you it you got a lot of brother like bonding kind of thing and sam got some ass <laughs> they, but they never really show like okay we got a job in x place they only, they very rarely show more than one quick scene between you know their home base at the time and where the job is we didn't even so, get to see piper enter the car we only got to see her leave the car no no it's like it was like baby shut down it's like i ain't staying awake for this crap <laughs> i am out See ya you in the guys, morning. You, you kids have fun. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> oh, Dean's face. Just like, Kel, uh, who are you? <laughs> yeah. And, then, and, and he's he was getting like, dressed. He's like, he's yeah, like, yeah. But he's like, I'll just, I'll just give you to a moment. <laughs> Looks back in from the back window. Uh, Nods what a approval. Creeper. Yeah, of course uh, he's a creeper. Uh, it's yeah. a naked blonde and, and, and in the backseat of his car. And you know no, Sam was still naked. You know he's just naked. Yeah, that, that, I was actually <laughs> just about to say, like, it's especially creepy knowing your brother's back there next to her. <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't looking at that. He, he, he was admiring uh -huh. the blonde piece of ass. You know that somebody right now is writing one of those Wincest fan fictions, and they're, they're including that scene from from uh, Dean's point of view of how he's sneaking a peek, you know? Like, that. that's... That, <sighs> That, that fan fiction exists. I'm aware it does exist. It's a very, very large part of the fandom. So you know right now somebody is twisting that. Every, f oh, I swear, every fandom's got some weird weirdness. Just just weird, being weird. Mm -hmm. People weird. I'm going to move on from that. He <laughs> actually wrote the first 12 uh, novels. <laughs> Do not associate me with that she, horrible she is She is the Chuck of the Wincess series. Tell me more, B. No, I'm not. I'm not being associated with this. On Bad the, enough, you guys. On to Ghoul Pyres. Dragon Age. I ain't doing this. Fifty no. Shades of Dragon Age. Oh my God. Moving on to Ghoul Pyres. <laughs> before we get to yeah, that. Ghoul Pyres. I like Wear Pyres. But... Dean was really excited that his you know naming scheme came through. Sort of. 
No, it had a name. They're called like Neffers or something like that. But he's like, nah, Gulpires are easier to say. <laughs> that that was funny. kind of his like conclusion. Neohans or something? Oh, yes. I, I kept thinking of yeah. Neopets. <laughs> yeah. It was an N word and it ended with, with something. N. I, like, I like the other one that they were going with first. The, the first thought that Cass had that they were Whispers. Whispers. Yeah, yeah. that's. Yeah, whispers, Dean's yeah. like, oh, that sounds lame. I thought that was cool as fuck. Definitely, i like, cause Whisper was the vampire uh, werewolf, and mm -hmm. and Neo Pets was the uh, <laughs> the ghoul pyres. <laughs> ghoul pyres. Uh, that was an interesting one because Dean cuts off the you know deputy dumbass's head, and it's just still alive. And I'm thinking, well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, and then he took a picture of the fangs. I was like, damn, those are inter intricate. Those are nice looking fangs. Yeah. They were. They had Bling like fangs. Little... Okay, I gotta say, the watching the head on the, 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 the windshield was pretty entertaining. <laughs> that, 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 that scene from the. Turned on the wipers. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, as as Gillard's Winter says in chat, he goes, Is it just me or did the car seem bored sometimes? And I really got that, that feel from the car that it was just, the car was just really bored. It was like I almost think depressed. That, I mean, I think that's what I said that I was, that's the reason I was getting that that board vibe was because like, there was parts where you're sitting there and there you just you're sitting there and you're watching them in front of the car just doing shit and you're like mm. <laughs> <sighs> so I, know, I loved it all and i loved like you know they they go into the 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 diner or the steakhouse whatever they're eating at and um you know the car is just sitting there like oh, all right i'm gonna take a nap wait for them to get back and the car wakes up and that's when we see Dean walking out, you know, Sam's already in the car. The car slept through it all, you know, but it's just like, it was just, it's just great. And then the way they, that they progressed the story, like it was all done how Sam and Dean would normally do it. But all we got to hear was whatever the car got to hear. And I just, I love that. I did. Yeah, it was different. It was a breath of fresh air. And then baby got taken for a joy ride by the worst valet on the planet. <laughs> I was that honestly seemed, expecting her to come back and Dean to pull a gun on her. But I'm I'm just gonna say if she didn't go joyriding, Dean would be fucked right now. Yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't have been able to shove all the pennies down that guy's throat. I was screaming I'm like, just dude all the pennies. Dude, don't even look <laughs> for them. Just all the pennies in his mouth and then cut off his head. Don't even fucking don't, don't look, try. Don't just look through. Like, no, it, zinc, just, zink, 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 zink. No, no, shove them in. And he did it. Was it and 1982? It. it had to be a penny before 1982? Yeah, because yeah. that's yes. when they... Yeah. yeah. I, love, I love Sam's this. little uh, facts into it. Bringing fun facts into Supernatural. See, the fun facts, they... Like, I love all that stuff when they do it because it makes it feel real and more grounded. But when, when Cass had the Netflix thing going on, as soon as Sam said that, I started thinking, I go... Supernatural is on Netflix. Yeah. I go, what are they going to watch themselves? I said, she did. the moment, the moment that Sam mentioned Netflix, I'm like, Cass is going to binge watch Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure <laughs> how Orange is supposed to relate to Black any differently. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I, what? No, her reaction was like, ah! she started clapping. She like started hitting me like, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, like getting battered. Like, yes, you knew it. That's awesome. But I was, I was waiting for a reference. Like, oh, I just watched some, uh, you know, stupid series. Uh, like third episode in, they had to deal with bugs or something. You know, it's like, you know, just a like a um, worst episode that yeah. they've probably ever done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't even think that was. I think that was actually episode six or something. If I yeah, if I, I think had so. To. But you know, they could have they could have made another reference to to that. Yeah. So, like we've mentioned, the monsters were upset over the fact that the darkness is around. They said that there's nothing we could do against it. Huh? It was episode eight. Oh, okay. thank you. They said there's nothing they could really, you know, they can't stop the inevitable, but they could slow it down. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the vision Sam had said that only him and Dean can defeat the darkness. Oh boy, I mean the because we get to see it, and that's what I thought was like so cool about the progression of the story because we get to see the monsters now. Like usually the monsters are 
you know, the ones that are terrorizing everything. And now the monsters themselves are terrorized and we have yeah. we, we get to see how they're reacting and how they're trying to cope with it because they're no longer, you know, the top of the food chain. You know, they're like, I guess, them really? and then the hunters have been on equal footing this whole time. But, okay. you know, now it's like the darkness is here and the darkness is better than everything and they don't know what to do. Well, we the haven't really seen her do anything. Yeah, like, the I mean, other than... So... Sorry. No. Oh. Go for it. I was gonna say, like, the ghoul pirates must have been around a lot longer than, say, like, the demons and the angels that are floating around right now because they knew about the darkness. Like, it seemed like way more than anybody else did. That's why he was building an army. He knew it was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I don't know necessarily if they've been around longer or if they just have intel. Like, they, they may be working with an angel demon. They may have had, uh, connections somewhere along the way that they found out i'm sure a lot of the the you know the supernatural community the the creatures and stuff are starting to talk amongst themselves now and been like yeah it's what's going the, on the news is traveling quickly yeah, um, yeah. we knew at first it just seemed they like they had a lot of information well it looks like in the last he said it within the last month he's been turning people so it's we, they've, we've been they've been running around for a little bit yeah. well they they said um in the last 900 years, they only turned, like, what? Three. Three people, and then in the last month, they turned... I think he said 18 two. or 20-something. Yeah, 22 yeah. or something, yeah. I thought he said 16, and in the last 100 years, he's turned three. I don't remember, honestly, because... <laughs> you guys are I was, exaggerating. I, I was utterly <laughs> distracted at that point. Yeah, I don't know. I thought, it was, I thought it was 900 years. I could be wrong, but... So... Anyway, um, very good episode. I think the part that Kim is very upset about, and probably would have rated this the best episode ever, is in the beginning when they were having a car wash scene. If Dean and Sam pressed their bodies up against Baby like they were, you know, cheerleaders at a car a car wash. You're saying B is most disappointing. Me too. You can't leave me out. You you think you're the only thing I fawn over? No, I'm aware. I'm. I no, the, okay, I'll get to you Stop in a second. This. No, now. stop. I will get to her in a second. Kim <laughs> is very upset about how they weren't, you know, pressing themselves against the car or taking their shir shirts off like, ah, oh, my shirt's all wet. She's shirts upset about that. Happen. You're upset that they used the young actor for uh, John Winchester and not Jeffrey Dean Morgan. That's what you're <laughs> upset about. Game, set, match. Me. I'm with and I'm upset that they tried to change the actors of the Impala and and, and pull the wool <laughs> over our eyes. You know, they they tried they tried to do this on Roseanne too. It didn't work. Becky is the original Becky. You can't switch her from the girl from Scrubs. It doesn't work. No, you can't. I want the original they, Impala they, back. They think they could just get slip that in and be all like, I don't know the difference. Get, Bitch, get the original like baby back. I want my baby back baby back <laughs> barbecue sauce all right i think we've talked this episode enough next week's episode it's called thin lizzie not that thin lizzie um the official bit on it is sam and dean investigate a series of murders at a local bed and breakfast that's that sounds romantic the boys at a bed and breakfast <sighs> You're that, just really trying to push this win, says No, I'm not. I'm really not. I'm Jeez, sorry. Anyway, wants this. series of murders at a local B&B &B that also happens to be Lizzie Borden's old home. Great. Oh, when a local man, Len, tells them he saw a little girl around the B&B &B around the time of the murders, the brothers realize Amara may be responsible. So another no, no, no. filler episode that's going to advance the plot somehow. Mm-hmm. What they don't know is that Amara's not a little girl anymore, so yes, it's not going to be that little bitch. Yeah, they don't know that, and I like I love the fact that though it may be completely off base, like this may not have anything whatsoever to do with the actual plot. They're going to investigate what they think is part of the plot, so that is enough justification for this being a filler episode. Whereas the last couple seasons, there's just been random filler episodes with no explanation on to why they're doing it. Right. So. And... But Dean was afraid of a Yorkie. No, a cat. A Yorkie and a cat. <laughs> the scream of the century came from the fucking cat. The cat, yeah. 
<laughs> you know that's still like on memes and stuff floating around oh, yeah. now. Oh yeah, yeah of, of course. course. They it's make never gonna die. For that, that was for forever ago. What was that like? Season four? Yeah, no, yeah. It was season it was, three. Was, was it season three? three? It was really early on. Yeah. Three is always my default, so I was like, it can't be three because I just instantly three. think three. So I skipped the four just to sound Dean different. Because Dean was dying. Yeah, like, Dean was like had the impending death sentence on his head from selling his soul to save Sam. Yes, yeah, that's yes. right. And one of his fears was him, you know, not this wasn't the him turning into a demon. One of his fears was him, like uh, Lilith, coming to collect. Yeah, and Gildard brings up another point. Good point, Chad. He says when the end of the show comes, I think that both the boys have to die, which we we've, we've already talked about, and we both, we, I mean, we all kind of agree that because that's really the only way to end the show. Yeah, um, but he says, I mean, even, but he says even, that so does Baby. Yeah. Blown yeah. to hell or something, and I agree, hundred percent. I mean, even Jared and Jensen were saying that that's the only way they see right. the series going is if both the boys die, and they're the actors, so right. why not believe them? Well, I'm saying baby's got to go with them. Mm, it doesn't I, I agree have with Gildarts. Has to. No, has no. to. Doesn't no. have to. Has doesn't to. Have to. Has to. I mean. Something for the ghost pacers to drive around in? Make no, them look I, I will be so mad if the ghost Next pacers end up with this car. Or Garth. Next generation of hunters. No, I don't like Garth. DJ I, Quails is... I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't like I don't Garth like. either, but I'm saying that's, you know... I, okay, fine. The Impala gets blown to shreds. Thank Dean you. kills himself in a fit of depression. No, Lucifer oh. swallows the car with them in it. They get sucked into hell. And the car explodes on their trip down there. And that's it. It's done. Whatever. I don't <laughs> Hold know. on. <laughs> anyway, that's our show, everyone. I think, unless there's something else you want to talk about. Chuck is not God. Fuck you. Kim, where can they find you? Uh, at H U F F I T Y P U F F I T Y. Okay. Mm, Omikins. <clears throat> they can find me on Twitter at Lady Venom24, L A D Y B E N O M24. She's fawning over Jeffrey D. Morgan. I always fawn over him. You can find me down below at here. Phenomenon. P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. You can find me on Twitter at Philodrin right here. T-H-I-L-L-A-D-R-E-N. Um, I got distracted thinking of a previous episode. Anyway, um, you can find all of us on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google+, Plus, MySpace, and YouTube at ASOTV Podcast. You can follow us there for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. If you're watching us live, uh, stay tuned, 11 o'clock, um, American Horror Story. Thank you for watching, everyone. Chili's baby back room. <laughs> bug just flew in front of my face at the end. I was like, what do you...